Hello, welcome to Paul's Take, and this is my take on the police. That's right, the police. Now, it'd be, I know you'd be shocked to hear this, but I was a kid once, and I wasn't always the outstanding citizen that I am today. Yes, I, not that I was really out of control or anything, but I was young, right? We all got arrested when we were kids. That's what you're supposed to do when you're kids, like a teenager. So I had some run-ins with the police back in the day. Um, so I had some experience with that. And I have also some experience working with the police. Because as I got older, I became more outstanding and worked um, as early as when I was in high school. I used to work at a movie theater. We used to always hire off-duty police officers to hang out with us on the weekends. And then in my later teens and early 20s, I was a security officer in this big, giant shopping center in Los Angeles. Um, and we had movie theaters and arcade games and all the stuff that attracted a lot of people on the weekend. We were like the hub. We were the place to go. So we had lots of people. And on the weekends, we had hired off-duty police officers as well to help us out. And so, and then now that I'm all grown up, I work as a road supervisor for a transit company. And whenever we have a, a disturbance on the bus or a rowdy person or somebody crazy, we call the police and they help us out and remove people. And, and I also deal with them when we're involved with uh, accidents. Never our fault, of course, but whenever it's an accident, we always call the police, they come out. So I'm working with them a lot. So what is my take with all the experience that I had? Well, truthfully, I've had some good experiences and some not so good. I had some straight up weird experiences with the police. Um, and some, some, I would say some power I don't say power hungry, but like, uh, I guess they get this ego that we the law, I'm the law, and I'm better than you, little punk. Um, and I think that's actually kind of common, but different degrees. And I'm not saying it's completely a bad thing, because when they are called to a scene. They are the person that's supposed to keep control of the situation. So they gotta have this essence of authority. I am the police. Everybody calm down. We are here to protect you. You know, we see people that need my protection. You people that are crazy. <clears throat> Anyways, so I think in general, and it's probably part of the job, they're supposed to be in command of a situation. Take charge. So you gotta have this leadership ability, right? And it could come off, or they, some, some I think maybe overdo it and become like a, a jerk about it, you know, kind of overly aggressive. And uh, yeah, so, but, but for the most part though, like if you're not on the receiving end, like the cops, if you're being, if the cops call, if, it, if the cops are called because of you, or you were caught doing something, you're probably not going to get their, their nicer, friendly side. You're going to get their, I need you to get on the ground, put your hands where I can see them. Do you, do you know what you were doing? Do you know how fast you were going? Where's your driver's license? Why is it, why are you driving with a suspended license? Why are you riding this stolen motorcycle? Never happened to me, of course. But uh, <clears throat> so they're going to be a little more stern with you. Now, my father was a Marine, and uh, he instilled this respect. So growing up, I always respected authority in a sense where I wouldn't like, if I was, whenever I got pulled over or, or questioned about some things, I would never argue with a police officer. Never. He's like, can I see your driver's license registration? Oh, yes, sir. What did I do wrong? You were speeding. You were doing 120 on the 405. Oh, sorry, sir. Or 
even in a situation like uh, that, that bike there is stolen. What? This bike? Oh, it was my friend's bike. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. Put your hands where I can see him. Put them behind your back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, that was me. I wasn't like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything, you commie bastard. You're just a punk. No, never would I have ever thought about raising my voice to the police, to authority. They can put you to jail if they don't like you. That's how I always thought of it. It's like, for one, they're the authority you're supposed to be respectful. And two, if you piss one off, and if you had a jerky cop, you never know. They could plant a bag of weed on you or cocaine or crack or something. Next thing you know, you, you're going to jail forever. That was also part of my mindset. Maybe a little paranoia, but nonetheless, I always respected the police. And surprisingly enough, with even all the times the police were dealing with me, they never got violent. Never. I thought this two cops got inappropriate. But anyway, that's a different story. But never violent. Nobody's ever like threw me down or anything. Or I always treated them with respect. Okay. So but that came with the, so I gotta say, like there are some departments that I will deal with now and have in the past that seem like in general that department are more jerky and other departments are more nice and friendly and have better manners. And like I said, I've been around not only as a security guard and I'll deal with my own people. And I'll, I'll tell you, here's, here's my experience as a authority figure as a fancy mall cop. If we had to deal with somebody, if the person basically in your head is labeled a knucklehead, like somebody that's going to argue with you or give you a hard time, guess what? You're gonna you're gonna give them a hard time, and in my little because we were really young, we wouldn't mess with that person. That's right. But but these are when they're when you figure the person is a knucklehead. That just means they're being rude or disrespectful or arrogant or being a punk. You know, we're just trying to keep the peace. We weren't cops. We were just trying to keep the peace. So if you gave us a hard time, that's all our entertainment was was messing with people. But if the person was respectful, you gave them respect, of course. If a person's not being a jerk, they're being a person, then you treat them like a person. And I see that with cops as well. For, like I said, they, I never got mistreated. And, and believe it or not, I would have been a knucklehead when I was a kid, because I was a street kid. I didn't go to play baseball or football. I ran the streets, rode bikes, skateboards, stuck in the places pools, allegedly, <laughs> maybe MGM movie theater, stuck in the theaters a couple times, allegedly, but little things, nothing really, I didn't do anything bad, I didn't steal anything, I wasn't, well, except for the, anyways, let's not talk about that, but my point is, I didn't really portray a, a you probably think, oh, you're a, you're this white guy that portrayed himself as a cocky, a sweet white boy. No, well, I just, I was a knucklehead. I didn't look by any means rich. I was broke, poor, looked frumpy, looked trashy. Um, but I, when I, like I said, but I always respected the police. Yes, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I didn't realize that, sir. My bad. I'm sorry. Could, could you give me a, give me a courtesy or something? Not courtesy, but a chance. Um, so, anyhow, like I was saying, so I've never seen a cop treat a person that was being respectful bad. I don't care if they did do the crime. If they, if you, even the person, if that person even did a crime, but yet they were, res they were respectful, they would be treated with respect. That's every encounter I've ever seen. And, in, and nowadays, I'm seeing that the cops are being more, they're not nearly as aggressive as they used to be. So even if a person was being a jerk or being kind of unruly, they were giving them so many chances. So nice. Back in the day, 
you come out, they would come out with a few respect. You need to get off this bus, sir. <clears throat> this, and if, if I ain't getting off no bus, they'd get you off the bus like that. But if you got up, sorry, sir, getting real out. It wasn't really my fault, but I'm not going to argue with you. You got off the bus, no problem. Talking back, back in the day, would get you. You're not going to win. They're going to get you. Whatever they want you to do, it's going to happen. Because that's just that's the way it was. And I kind of think that's the way it should be. They should always give a ch person a chance to comply. Excuse me, you're on private property. They want you to leave. But I, I was, I was going to my money back. Well, you can take it up with them later. Right now, you have to leave. I'm not leaving. No, you really have to leave. I ain't going nowhere. Either you leave. I'm not going to tell you one more time. Either leave or I'm, I'm removing you. I ain't going. Then you grab them and you throw them off the property, whatever. That's how basically how it went. Nowadays, they're just, they seem they're so scared of not beating the hell out of somebody that they're just being abused now. The cops are being abused in a lot of places. Um, or to me, even more so than they need to be. I think people are taking advantage of the fact that they know cops are are on I don't see. They're just like they would just go, people would just complain over stuff, and then they were getting reprimanded for just trying to do their job. So, I believe the cops should come at you if you're like the the perp. I'm not saying just you're walking down the street and the cops just like, hey, get on the floor. Like, hey, hey, just just walking down the street. No, but they should come out with your respect. Come out with your respect. Be respectful. Give you a chance to comply. Maybe give you another chance. But number three is done. And then they just drag you out any way they can. Now granted, they're not supposed to be killing people. I'm not saying kill people. I'm just saying grab them by the ear, grab them by the nose and throw them off. Get, make them comply. You know, you've got to be all super sweet about it. But of course, you're not going to kill anybody about it either. But not purposely anyhow. So that's my take. I, I actually wanted to be a police officer, but it didn't work out. Apparently my background was too shady. Oh well, it's okay. In retrospect now, I think I'm good. I think I'm glad I'm not a cop. Not because of what's going on now, just because I think I've become, uh, I don't know, I don't like the idea of, you know, as a cop you're supposed to, um, enforce the laws, right? Well, some of these laws I don't personally agree with. Mainly the, the druggy kind of stuff. But of course, violent crime, <clears throat> I would, uh, yeah, I have, no, I have no problem enforcing that. You start beating somebody up, killing somebody, raping somebody, I have no problem taking you to jail putting you under the jail. I have no problem with that. But like, you know, mainly the druggy stuff. I think I, I, I don't believe in really busting somebody for using. I don't think you really get busted nowadays for using anyways, but back in the day, you kind of did. Um, so, yeah. Violent crimes, no problem. Reckless driving, no problem. You know, if you're going a little fast, there's nobody around, I don't care. Anyhow, so my point, I think most cops are pretty darn decent. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, truthfully, I work with cops a lot and I give them a lot of respect. Most of the cops I deal with, and really to tell you the truth, since I'm, I'm not really the receiving end, I'm working with them, seeing the outside, like they're call, I'm calling them to help me out. And they do seem, they're, they're, they're a lot more level-headed now, now I'm in North Carolina, and before I was in Los Angeles. So the cops out here that I deal with are a lot more calm and level-headed and patient than the cops were in Los Angeles. But to be fair, the cops in Los Angeles were dealing, they're going from one call to another call to another call, and they're, they gotta go stuff like this. They don't have time. Like here, a cop could spend hours just trying to get somebody off a bus without dragging them off. They could spend a ton of time working with one thing in LA, they just don't have that luxury. They gotta get things done 
quick because there's other stuff going on. Maybe there's a sale on donuts or something. So anyhow, my thing is, I think for the most part, cops are good. I'm glad they're there. I appreciate them. Do I think they're perfect? No, they're human. That's the problem. You know, or it's just the reality of it. They're human. Um, do they? Do I think they target people? Well, I've never seen that myself. I do think that uh, they see somebody is like knucklehead or not knucklehead. You know, and then usually by talking to somebody, you kind of figure it out right away. And so, but if you're if they're not a knucklehead, you treat them great. If you are a knucklehead. And you're treat, you don't respect the cops. Yeah, they, you, they're going to seem like jerks, I'm sure. All right, well, I think I'm rambling now. My point is, for the most part, I think cops are great. Especially out here, even in L.A. I got a lot of friends that are cops. My brother's a cop. Hey. Um, and for the most part, they just want to do their job. They want to come. They're not truck. They're not, believe it or not, cops, they're like most of us. They just want to go to work, put in the hours, maybe do some good, and go home. That's that's basically it. And the reason why they become cops is because they want to be the hero. They're Captain America. That's what they want. Maybe they get corrupted and they get jacked up in the head, all this trauma from dealing with jerks all day long. I mean, think about it. You know your job. You deal with people. Some people are punks. Imagine you're only dealing not with the annoying co-workers, but the straight up criminals, people that will do stuff like beat somebody or hurt a child or steal and rob and do horrible things to people. You're dealing with them people all day long. You're gonna get affected. You know what I'm saying? They're, 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 not, they're not holy men. They're not, a, they're not gods. They're people and they're dealing with stressful situations every day. So I appreciate your hard work, dedication, and try to stay cool. Remember, I'm on your side. So that's my take on cops. Thanks for watching Paul's Take. Make sure you hit like and subscribe for more of my take on stuff.